So we've got a squirrel glider here and don't be fooled by its cuteness. As you can see, it's got a dangerous animal sign on it. What I really need to do is get this from behind the back of the head and then almost cup it within the towel to protect me from those feet as well. Um, we'll see how we go though because it's, it is quite aggressive. So. Make sure it's not in the foliage. Okay. So you can see they make quite a racket. Okay, so it's lying on its back at the moment. You can probably just see here the way it's rolled onto its back. So what I need to do here is to get it from the front, which I've done grab it from behind the back of the neck. This is a very firm, yet obviously always relaxed grip as well because they're very small gliders. You can see here I've got the back of the neck all in control and we've got the feet here as well. Now, doing a, a procedure to actually assess this guy is gonna be very difficult in this hold. I could swap it and turn this towel around um, to assist, but you probably more than likely need to give this little one an, assess an assessment under gaseous anaesthetic. I've got him out of the towel now, which is another way to restrain them. I've got his head in my fingers here, and I've got his body actually in the palm of my hand. Uh, if he does want to try and use those claws, he can't get actually access to any of my body parts there.